Good morning, how are you? I hope you are all well. Here we are again, another Sunday, another lesson. Are you ready? With your lollipop, your ice cream, everything you want. Chocolate. Chocolate, okay. Ice cream. Ice cream, okay, that's good. Anything you want, please feel free to bring it. Okay, so pray for us and let's get right into it. Jesus name. Amen. Father, thank you for today. Bless all the children around the world, children about the word, the word of you in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm. Before we go into it, let's sing some song. We'll be back shortly. Enjoy. Fantastic song. Today we're going to be talking about the dream that Jacob had. Jacob's wonderful dream. Remember last time he ran away from home. Why? Because Esau was angry. And then the mommy said, come, come, come. Your brother is angry. You've got to run to my brother Laban. That's what the story is about. He had a dream on the way. Listen, we'll be blessed. <laughs> Jacob had received his father Isaac's blessing by deceiving him and his brother Esau. Esau was angry at his brother and vowed to kill him. His mother Rebekah came to know of this and went to warn him. Son, you must listen to me very carefully. Your brother is angry at you and he has taken a vow to kill you. You must leave now and escape to Haran. 
where my brother Laban lives with his family. Stay there until your brother forgets what happened and find the heart to forgive you. Go now and stay there until I send for you. Very well, mother, as you wish. Now Rebecca wanted to send Jacob to her father's house with Isaac's blessing, but she had to present it differently. So she went up to Isaac and spoke to him. Isaac, I have something to tell you. It's about Jacob. Hmm. I've been thinking about Jacob too. What is it, Rebecca? I do not want Jacob to marry a girl from Canaan. I don't think that any girl from Canaan would suit Jacob. Why don't we send Jacob to my brother Laban for a while, so he can find somebody there? That sounds like a good idea, Rebecca. Send Jacob to me, so I can talk to him about this. Did you call for me, father? Yes, Jacob. You need to go to Laban, your uncle in Haran. It's a long journey from here, but it will be worth it. You can choose a woman from Haran to be your wife. You have my blessings. You will be a leader of the people, and you will have a nation to your name if you follow God's will. Go now and be blessed. And so, Jacob left Beersheba for Haran. He traveled for several days through the desert and the wilderness. He had to face several hardships on the journey. One night, he reached an open space, and he couldn't see because it was too dark. So, he decided to rest the night there. He took a rock and rested his head on the rock. Soon, Jacob fell into a deep sleep. He had a dream, and what a strange dream it was! I am the Lord, the one true God that your father Isaac and his father Abraham worshipped. The land that you sleep on will be yours. Your descendants will grow and flourish all over the earth. They will be as many as the sands on the seashore. Wherever you may go, you will be protected by me. You will have nothing to fear, for I am always with you. I will bring you back to this land. And I will never leave you until this promise has been fulfilled. Jacob woke up from his sleep, and for a moment he could not believe that he had dreamt all of this. He realized that this was indeed the land of God, and that God was telling him something. In the morning, Jacob woke up early and set the stone he had rested his head on. As a pillar, he then anointed the stone with some oil and named the place as Bethel. At that moment, Jacob took a vow: "I go on this journey, and the Lord is with me, gives me food to eat, water to drink, and clothes to wear. And if I return safely back to my father's house, then I promise that the Lord will be my God forever." The stone that I have set up here will be the house of God. I also promise that whatever wealth that I may make, I will give a tenth of it to God. And so, the strange dream that Jacob had had changed Jacob completely, and through this dream, he realized that God would be with him everywhere he went and protect him against all dangers. That was a very Interesting story. Okay, tell me all about it. What was his dream about? So he was going to Laban. He got to a place he couldn't see because it was dark, and he decided to sleep. And then what happened in his sleep? That 
God was talking to him. He said he shouldn't worry that he would be with him because he was afraid. He was running. He was running from Esau. Remember, he took the birthright. When Esau came back and said, Daddy, bless me. He said, no, I've already blessed your brother. And then he began to run. He began to run. He was so afraid. So then God blessed him. Yeah, God assured Isaac that I am with you. I am with you. So then he was a lot more settled because he was so afraid. I thought about before. Jacob, Jacob's dream. Yeah, it's in, it's in the dream that um, God told him to calm down, not to be afraid. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go into our memory verse for today. Our memory verse will be taken from Genesis 28 verses 10. Jacob left Bathsheba and set for Haran. Haran. Jacob Jim left Bathsheba and set for Haran. Jacob left Bathsheba and set out for Haran. That was the place he was going. All right. It's been lovely to be here with you. Anytime you sleep, you can have a dream. God can speak to you. Just, in your dreams. Yeah, in your dream. Just tell your mommy and daddy and say, I dreamt about this. I dreamt about that. Okay. But now let's pray. And I want you to pray. I want me to pray. Okay. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. Thank you for another Sunday and teaching us about Jacob and dream. All the children listening, speak to them in your dream. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Take care.